Hello! I am here tonight with an unboxing my bookship box for February. Finally came in. Super exciting. It's March 2nd, I think, today. And the box went out late this month because of the coronavirus shutting down factories. It happens. I'm dealing with the same kind of thing at work where coronavirus is just set, shutting down things. I don't in any way blame Bookship for this box being late. Another interesting thing is because of the delay, Bookship was cool enough to do random giveaways to subscribers telling us or on Instagram where different people or for every day shipment was delayed, they were giving away an arc and I won one of those arcs. They announced it on Instagram by first and last name and city and I guarantee you that I am the only airy W in probably the entire country, much less Santa Monica, California. So there should be an extra arc in this box. Before I get to the actual unboxing, I want to do a quick review of what we got last month and update you guys on anything that I had ended up using over the month. So the first thing was a poster um, that was like plan your goals. That ended up in my trash can or I guess in the recycling because that's just not something that I would ever use. There's nothing against it or bookship box for sending it. It's just not something personally that I would use and I don't want it cluttering up my apartment. Next, they had the Grounds and Hounds coffee, which was delicious and it supported a good cause. Once I run out of coffee, I will be ordering from Grounds and Hounds uh, to get my coffee in the future. Next, they had Oracle cards and a little set with a smudger so you could like cleanse your house neither one of those are really my thing the smudger is sitting on my bookshelf looking gorgeous on its little tray with its little feather and then the oracle cards are in my game box i'm probably not going to use those but like i said it's just that's a personal like non-use for that Wax melts were delicious smelling. I used three of them. They didn't really smell like coffee, but they still smelled good. It smelled more like syrup. Like syrup you'd put on pancakes is what it smelled like to me. But I still like the smell and I still use them. The bookmark was a wood mark and it had Jace Herondel on it from Cassandra Clare's series, which I should really know the name of, but for some reason cannot tell you Shadowhunter series. <laughs> I have been using that frequently. It's a great bookmark. I love bookmarks. I don't know what else I could say about that. And I, I have not read the book. I don't know when. I will read that book. It didn't seem like my particular type of book. But let's get into this month's box and see what we think. So right on top is the spoiler card. This month's theme is Focus and there is a playlist on the back. I didn't listen to last month's playlist. I'm not a big music person. So open the box a little bit and you get this. We're just going to start from the top with this paper that I think is just paper. Okay, it is just paper. I just didn't want something to spill out of that and then lose it on my floor. All right, we're going to go with this small little box here. A box within a box. And this looks like a beautiful little candle holder. 
Ooh, this shirt does not want me to put my hands out like that. It's either a cup or a candle holder. We'll look at it on the spoiler card later and figure out exactly what that is. But it's definitely um, ceramic and it's really pretty. Next up I've got, oh, things falling on me. I've got a bag that's in love with my bookship. I like it. This will be great for picking up books at the library. I've been needing a tote bag to do exactly that. It's not a super wide bottom, but it's, it is a decent bag that I am not mad at at all. It's not gonna set up very well. <laughs> Next we've got the wax melts which spoiled the book so I'm gonna try not to look at the name and just look at the like scent. The scent is Falling Petals so I don't know what this is gonna smell like but there we go without spoiling the book. I learned that last month. Hmm. What does that smell like? It smells good. It kind of smells like baby powder. That's not at all what it smells like, but that is what it's bringing my, my brain to. I've got another bookmark, which is The Darkling from the Grishaverse, which I have not read. But it's another wood bookmark, which I love these wood bookmarks, so I am totally not mad at getting a, an entire 12 months of wood bookmarks. We've got something wrapped in paper here, which is a candle. It's really just a purple candle. I'm sure the purpose for this purple candle will come along. I've got another thing, which is the candle base for the purple candle. It doesn't quite fit perfectly. It looks like we could probably get it to squish down in there. Purple candle. Um, this is a candle focus ritual that goes with our candle, which I will read later. And then I've got Tropic of Capricorn Aromic Green Tea with Eucalyptus and Dragon Fruit, which is makes four cups of green tea. I love tea. Will you please focus? Thank you. I love tea, so I am totally down with the tea. Next, I have a tea thing. It's a teapot tea strainer which I am also extremely down with. I love tea strainers. It just means more tea for me. And then it's got a little tr metal tray that it rests on. Once you take it out, it's adorable. I love it. Open the book that we have for this month. If I could get this open. Ah! Okay, Seven Deadly Shadows by Courtney, Courtney Alameda and um, Valen uh, Maitani? I probably mispronounced that really bad. All right, and as always, super fast forward of me reading the synopsis of the book. 
Kara Fujikawa has always been a girl on the fringe, bullied by her peers and ignored by her parents. Kara has only ever felt at home at her grandfather's Shitano shrine, where she trains to be a priestess. But Kara's life is shattered on the night her family shrine is attacked by a vicious band of uh, yokai demons. With the help of Shiro, the shrine's gorgeous half-fox, half-boy Kitsune, Kara discovers that her shrine harbors an ancient artifact of great power, one the yokai and, the, and their demon lord, <laughs> Shuten Doji, will use to bring an everlasting darkness upon the world. Unable to face Shuten Doji and his minions, on her own, Kara enlists aids of seven ruthless Shinagami death gods to help stop the brutal destruction of humankind. But some of the death gods aren't everything they initially seemed, nor as loyal to Kira's cause as they first appeared. With war drawing near by the day, Kira realizes that if this unlikely band of heroes is going to survive, they're going to have to learn to work together, confront their own demons, and rise as one to face an army of unimaginable evil. This is not at all my type of book. <laughs> I don't particularly care. It sounds very anime and Japanese themed, which is a lot of people's cup of tea. It is not mine. I don't really have any interest in reading this. <laughs> so, so far I'm two of two and not hugely impressed with what Bookship Box is sending or doing. This cost, what, $40 plus shipping every month? And this right here is not worth like the almost $50 that it cost with shipping. This is worth maybe like $20, if that. All right. So this is a ceramic teacup, which makes sense to go with the tea thing and the actual tea itself. I don't like teacups like this because it's ceramic and you put hot liquid in it and this gets like insanely hot. <laughs> so I appreciate that a lot of people do like teacups like this, but I don't, I'm not going to get any use out of this as a drinkable beverage. This is going to go on my shelf somewhere and look pretty and I think it's gorgeous, but I'm never going to be able to drink any hot beverages out of this. So Eco friend this tote is eco-friendly. It doesn't explain to you how it's eco-friendly. It just says it's eco-friendly. Um, like I said, this is the Darkling from the Grishaverse, which I have not read. I don't know anything about the Grishaverse. Um, and then we've got the tea and the teapot shaped strainer, which is pretty like straightforward. And then you have the candle which is cheap this is cheap this is a crayon and then this is like a bendable i'm going to show you how cheaply made this is and why it's not worth more than like 50 cents or so right like it's like i'm not even exerting a lot of pressure this is like a piece of tin foil so this is this is not <laughs> This is not worth anything. It's not worth the cost of the box. So at this point, I'm just really disappointed in everything that came in here. Okay, so after unboxing the Unplugged Book Box, which you just saw me do, I was so disappointed by what was in there that I went and did some research, right? <laughs> and looked, or tried to find the things that were in the box and get a price for them. And I'm even being extremely generous with my prices in paying or in looking at what a consumer buying just a single item would cost and not including any discounts of purchasing these items in bulk, which when you do purchase things in bulk, you do receive a considerable discount. So, First off, the box is $34.99 a month and plus tax. Tax shipping. You it's not in, shipping is not included, which for standard subscription boxes because you don't know what's getting or what's coming in the box, your or the items in the box should be at minimum double what you get. So if it's 
$35 for the box, you should get at least, at bare minimum, $70 of value for the items. Even if you don't like everything, the, the items totaled up should equal at least $70. Now, to be fair, Bookship does not promise that they are going to give you a $70 value. Nowhere do they promise this is just standard practice for subscription boxes to give you double the value so you feel like what you're paying for is worth it. So, the tote bag first is, I couldn't find this exact bag, but I found something slightly larger than this with like a bottom to it made of the same material. It was 62 cents. 62 cents. And it drops all the way down to like 20 cents if you buy them in bulk, including putting your own logo on it. Next, the teacup. I could not find this exact teacup anywhere, but I found like sets very similar to this with like different colors. And the most expensive, I mean, it got expensive, it was handmade, but this is not handmade by any stretch of the imagination. But these were between like five and ten dollars average. I'm probably leaning towards the lower end of five dollars, if not less than that. So, still not very expensive. Next up is the tea. And this exact tea is on sale for their website. This bag is $2.99. The tea strainer, I can find this exact tea strainer on Amazon. Exact same one. If you buy a single one, it's $4. A set of four is like $3.50 each when I did the math for it. So what is that, like $14, $15? I think it's $15 for a set of four. <laughs> ritual candles, I couldn't find this exact ritual candle, but I found ones slightly larger than this, but similar, like they were fatter, but vaguely similar. A pack of 20 is $5.50, which makes these like 27 cents each. I found this exact star holder online. It's 79 cents. Are you seeing my problem with this box? They're not even hitting the cost of the you're paying for the box. <laughs> and that's at retail price. That's not even at like discounted bulk prices. That's retail price. Now, the book itself is going to add a little bit of value to the book or to the box, right? Retail price of this book because it usually says it in here. This one doesn't have it in here. It does, $17.99, and that's max retail price of the book, right? Everywhere I looked, it's on sale. Most of the places, it's like $14 or something like that. Oh, I forgot the wax melts. Wax melts add another $6, because I bought wax melts before, and they're like $6. I get boxy charm and I will get like a hundred and ten dollar product in a boxy charm that I'm paying twenty dollars for. That's value. Even if I don't use the product, that's value. This is not value. Especially because I'm not gonna use half the products in here or over half of the products in here. So take it as you will. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs>